Hi everyone, it's Dragana from Sasebo. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I promised in one of the earlier videos I will show you how to make a journal cover with two envelopes. And here it is. This is a little journal that I made with some fabric, wrapping paper and two envelopes. If you'd like to learn how to make this yourself, just keep watching. The tutorial is coming up. So earlier this year, about a month or two ago, I shown you this journal actually my planner i use those planner printables from a website and i dyed these envelopes with bubble technique and quite a few of you asked me if i can do a tutorial on this so here it is finally although today we will go one step further i will not use just the plain envelopes that are bubble dyed i will use fabric and i will use some other papers to decorate the insides but you can certainly do it this way as well it's probably easier but i want you to see the difference so this one is done just with envelopes that were dyed with bubble inks and this one is done properly with fabric on the outside and some decorative papers on the inside all right so let's get started First, I'd like to tell you what you need for this project. You will need two envelopes like this with opening on one side, not on the top, but on this shorter side. And you'll need two of those. This is the size that is slightly bigger than A4, nine inches. It's probably nine by 13. So they're bigger than A4 size paper. Just to compare. Yeah, so they're that much bigger. Okay. As long as they're at least the size of your papers. If you use letter size papers, then of course use the envelopes that are made for papers like that. Or you can even do the smaller envelopes like I have here. And have a smaller journal like a notebook so you can use those as well okay so you will need two of those envelopes they can be recycled totally fine you will need some fabric that it's not too thick so thinner fabric that's going to be easy to fold because envelopes are made from paper not cardstock so if you have really heavy fabric it's not going to be good because the paper will not be able to hold the structure properly okay then you'll need some book pages for the inside for this part here okay you need some book pages and yeah just using two and then for this part here you need some wrapping paper or, i mean you can use printables of course but they're not probably going to be big enough to cover the whole thing because these are bigger than the A4. If you use 12 by 12 papers, they're probably too thick, but you can certainly use 12 by 12 scrapbooking papers as long as they're big enough to cover this and have a little bit to tuck under. Another thing you can use is just some wrapping paper. It is thin and perfect for this. So they usually come in a roll or folded like this. So if you have some wrapping paper that it's nice and yeah, use wrapping paper. Today, I'm not gonna be using wrapping paper, scrapbooking paper or anything like that because I have lots of jelly prints that I want to use. I'm going to be using my own jelly print. It was printed on a cleanup paper, I think. I use this deli paper to clean my plate and then I end up doing the print on top which gives me a nice result because there's quite a few layers so I'm going to be using this instead of the wrapping paper okay so that's all that we need in terms of materials oh I forgot about this you'll need two brads two eyelets a bit more of the book page and just a piece of recycled cardstock and you'll also need some twine or some wax thread for this and here are the tools that you need 
to complete the project. A ruler, scissors, eyelet setter, bone folder, pencil, owl, hole puncher, a brush to spread the glue, acetone glue, glue stick or some white glue, a bit of masking tape, a little bit of ink if you have, and a one inch circular punch. Okay, so let's get started. As you've seen in my example here, we're going to be using these flaps to create these closures here. Okay, and what I like to do is just open up both envelopes here on the opposite edge of this. So just I'll just use my scissors and I'll just cut a little bit just like that. What about one or two millimeters? And I'll do the same here. So you have to decide which one is going to be on the out outside and you leave it as it is but for that one you need to cut off this bit here so i like to do it like this i just fold this you can either use the pencil and mark or you can just cut so you just go about that much. Just give you the measurement. That is about a bit less than one inch, three quarters of an inch. But you can go even deeper if you don't want the pocket to be too deep. Just don't go too much because the flap won't be able to cover it. This is what I mean. If you make your pocket up to there, then this loses its purpose. So as long as you have some sort of overlapping, so you can even go there. But I wouldn't go any further than that. Okay, so you have that straight. And you see here, it has that thing. If you were to just dye the paper with different dyes or ink, it wouldn't matter, you can leave it like that, but we are going to wrap it with the decorative paper and that's going to be in our way. It's much easier if it's just straight like this. So again, I'm going to just So that is our outer envelope. Now for this one, we've already cut this part, but now we have to actually cut a little bit of this edge because we want to slide this in. Uh, this way it's going to be much stronger. If we were to just slide it in, it will, as you can see, because they're the same size, it will not sit really nice so you really need to cut off a little bit here just like we did with this we'll just cut a little bit off like just a couple of millimeters not that much and now we can open it up which is perfect because what i like to do is Simply glue that page to that one and make it a little bit stronger. So let's just glue that. I'm going to use just the glue stick. I'm going to apply the glue stick. Evenly possible. This is just going to make that cover a little bit tougher. You know, because it's simply just paper. 
relatively thin paper. So we just fold that. Use your glue spreader for this one. And just a bit. Now here we have a little bit of lift off, so we'll just fix that as well. So now we have this, we have that part that is open and we have this one that it's closed. Now ideally, one side of this is meant to be glued onto the outer side. So you will have three layers of paper on the, on the outside where the fabric is going to be. And you will have just one layer or one sheet of paper here plus the wrapping. Simply because you don't want your pockets to be too thin on this side. Everything that you put inside will start showing on the outside. That is not what we want. Now, this is a, a little bit tricky because you have to apply the glue and then slide it in and glue it down and it gets really messy. And you can choose to do this like this or like that. But because I have this kind of thicker part here, I want to have the same on this side simply because it's going to be more even. And I'm going to test it first. I'm going to test it first. So, like that. We need to glue it like that. We need to glue this part as well and that part. And that is going to be the final. I think it fits all right I don't need to cut anymore so now I need to apply the glue I'm gonna fold this like that so I don't get the glue on it I'm just going to apply the glue here and as I said you can certainly use recycled envelopes. I don't have any, otherwise I would have used, so I'm just using the new ones. <laughs> but if you have used ones, just use those. Recycling is always good. All right. So now we have to slide that inside. Make sure you turn it the right way. Okay. We're going to do that, but it's much easier for me if I turn that. Keep it open while you're working. this so it doesn't go further and that's it it's okay if you have a little bit left here you don't want it all the way especially on this side because you won't be able to fold the flap okay so you leave I hope you can see you leave a little bit on this side and a little bit here just enough so that you can fold this. Let's spread that glue a bit better. That is the basic structure. We have this, which is going to be our pocket, and we have that, which is going to be the cover. The next step is to glue the fabric. And your fabric needs to be obviously bigger than this thing when it's opened because you want to cover the flaps as well. Like that. Okay, mine is probably a bit too big so I'm going to just cut that off. didn't 
really cut it evenly. <laughs> it's actually quite terrible, but it's all right. Okay, so now we need to glue the fabric on this side. And you can choose not to glue it. You can use proper glue. What I did is I basically applied glue stick. It worked all right for me. It did lift up in a few areas. Eventually it might all lift up, but because it's glued over and it's been stitched, it doesn't really matter. So you can choose not to actually glue, but I find it a bit difficult to work if it's not at least temporarily glued with glue stick. This is just for easier control for now. You may want to use like white glue and that is totally okay. But just make sure it dries properly before you take it to your sewing machine. Okay, I better do it this way. Control. And then just do this. We are going to fold this and that and this, but we are going to fold this also where this line is here. So we need to make cuts in the fabric. Otherwise, if you were to glue this, you actually close a little bit of that and that's going to cause tears in the paper. So we will have to cut that. Now here, this we don't want this uh, extra bulk okay so we need to cut a little bit here as well so there and there okay here just imagine you are writing that line there and then you cut. Also in this area here, see, when you do that, you will end up with this. So you'll need to cut a little bit like that, where, where this thing folds. Okay, so in here you just cut. It's, I hope this makes sense. Okay, so imagine this is continuous line and that. So we need to cut off that, that. Little corners here, straight, straight. And we'll do the same here. So you go that, that. Extend these. And then you just cut these. This is another reason why I said use thinner fabric because especially here, this is just probably 80 GSM paper and if you were to use really thick fabric over thin paper like this, it's just not going to work. Now here, because you see that shape, I would just go like that, I would just straighten that. Just go and cut this. Cut that.
turn it this way so that you can see maybe better. There is that cut, that, that, and that. Okay. Now let's do this side again. That. using scissors that are meant for paper but somehow I'm managing because I don't feel like getting up now and looking for the proper scissors <laughs> these work all right I think Notice that with scissors they work all right for a while and then they stop working and the same with these you see there's buildup of glue so it's good to, to get like a wet wipe and just try and clean the buildup of glue on your scissors you might be surprised how sharp they are after you clean them okay so now it's the gluing part oh, this is just shocking obviously this a little bit. I know it's not going to be visible, but it still might show underneath the paper. Okay. So now I'm going to use acetone-based glue, which dries super quick and doesn't smell really nice. It's actually quite awful. So if you use it, use it in a well ventilated area. I'm going to glue these first, like that. Okay, so I'm going to just really glue, apply a bit of glue, and then I'm going to spread it. And then just looks very neat now. Now here, let's start with this bit. So, now these envelopes have these things. I'm going to peel it off going to be in my way. Fold that. I'll do the same on this side. going to cut it like that. And this one, I don't want it to be 
over the fold here. It might be difficult to fold, yeah. Good about that. Yeah, we need to go in a little bit more, like that. Simply because when we fold this, like that, and that, you don't want anything in here. You don't want extra fabric there where the fold is going to be. Alright, now I'll just glue this a little bit better. sticky so that part is done doesn't it look neat actually it's gonna be okay now the next thing to do is to glue these book pages on to these flaps i want to use just the part with the text but because paper is obviously old i'm going to just fold this i won't cut it i'm going to fold it and therefore make it a bit stronger so I'll just use the glue stick here. I'm just going to fold. Now make sure the text is the right way up. So if my design is that way, that's what the text should look like. Okay. And here you can have the book page as close to the edge as possible, or you can have it a little bit on the inside, like one millimeter. Okay, so what I do now, I just turn this and I use my pencil to mark where I need to cut. So here you can cut or you can also fold and glue. It's totally up to you. you just check. You can see where my pencil mark is you have to take it in a little bit if you want it to be a bit less than this if you don't want it from the edge to the edge so I think that looks all right like that and then here I will just cut that this part I will glue better if it's a bit thicker there anyway. Okay, let's test it now. So this is going to be inside. I think 
I need to cut it out just a little bit. Turn it this way, it's easier for me because I'm right handed. And now I'm gonna hold it like that and I'm gonna try and fold it all together. See, when you fold it, you don't want this to show on this side, okay? So, this is where the fold is going to be. Now, for the inside bit, you can choose to glue it with the glue stick. With this other glue you might have to glue use the acetone based glue on the parts where it touches the fabric okay but you can actually do that once you have this inside now this is going to be again difficult because this side of the paper is sticky i'm going to turn it this way i know it's a little bit fiddly this just hold it here and push the rest inside yeah. and then while it's still fresh just add a bit of glue here and there This is going to be the fold and just hold it for a few seconds. Make sure it's glued properly because you're gluing paper to fabric now. And you can put something heavy on top, like a heavy book or something. And that way it will be glued nicely. So you basically do the same thing on this side. So let's do that. So that is it. it. Comes to this. Last thing to glue down is to cover this white area. And I said I was going to use my jelly tree, but it is on a thin paper, and I have to fold this in like that. Maybe this is the easiest way to actually measure it correctly. Since I'm using a really thin paper, again, I'm not going to cut this bit off. It will show as a bump. This fabric will show as a bump if I do that. So I just want to make this edge a little bit tougher so i'm going to apply glue stick just like i did with the book pages yeah. if you use thinner papers yeah it's a good thing to double up on these corners and edges See, but it's already much stronger i'm going to do the same here
decide. You see how much I need to fold in? I just have to decide whether I want it to go all the way. Or maybe like this in the middle. So I'm just going to fold here. Actually, slide it inside to help you. Again, cut this from the corner like that. It's just much easier to slide it inside. Oh, and make sure it's the right way. Just check the text on your image if it's directional. Oops. So that is going to sit like that. And here. right before you, before you blow things down because if you don't you're gonna have trouble you're gonna have trouble fitting it all in especially once you apply the glue okay. all right so I think easiest thing would be to put this one in and push it all the way. Okay, now apply the glue. Oh, I see. And here the fabric is just a little bit further. Okay. So I'm going to apply the glue stick where the paper is. Glue stick works all right when it's paper on paper. It's just so much easier to apply. Okay, but where the fabric is, I have to use this. So now with this part, you may choose to add glue stick and fold over. You can just fold over. I don't think it's going to kind of lift off or anything, but just for the sake of it, we'll just add a bit of glue stick. This side hasn't been glued, so we'll just gently lift it up. Add some glue stick.
Wow, doesn't it look pretty? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, now that is basically it apart from these things. Now let's make some of these. Okay, I'm going to use just this cardstock. I'm going to just glue a bit of book page. dry a little bit now with these ones I don't like these bumpy bits and I've been just lifting them off so I think yeah we just glue down I'm going to just yeah lift them off and later on I might decide to just glue a little picture or something else because these are kind of really raised and I prefer without them. All right. Now if you don't have eyelets for this thing here and you have these breads you can make the same here and have two. Like what we do here you can do the same thing here you don't have to use eyelets. I just prefer to use eyelets, but you don't have to. In that case, you will need four of these and four of these. Okay. And I won't do this yet because I actually like to take this to the sewing machine. And I want to show you. I basically went just all the way around using straight stitch you can use zigzag stitch you can use straight stitch or you don't have to stitch at all if you're confident that everything is glued nicely and properly you don't have to do it unless you like the look and you have a sewing machine but it's totally optional you know it doesn't have to be done you can leave it like that and it is still going to look pretty so i'm just going to go quickly to my sewing machine and do that straight stitch and i will be back Okay, I'm back. One thing I forgot to mention is if you decide to do the sewing, do it from this side. Feed it through to your sewing machine from this side, not from that side. Simply because stitching doesn't look as nice on the other side, especially if you do it on the paper. With fabric it doesn't really matter. As you can see it still looks all right but if I was to stitch from this side my sewing here wouldn't look so good. So there it is. As you can see I'm still not folding it because I prefer to leave it like that until I'm ready and until I decide how many signatures and how thick my signature is going to be. You can see here I simply placed another book and then folded it. So that's one way of doing it. All right, so now let's just finish these things. So we need to have two of those. I'm going to use just black ink. Mark where the hole needs to be. Okay, this will go inside like that. Okay, now here we need to put some marks. So in the middle here. When you, when you close it, okay, I go about one and a half inches from here. Okay, so that is there, and that is 
day. And then I use just this. Put your hand behind, but go slow, you don't want to injure yourself. Just make a hole like that. And then you take this thing and then this. Actually, make sure this is kind of in the middle. And now you have to split this open. I hope you can see this. I'm going to take a little bit of masking tape now, like that. I'm going to put it over because when I place things inside, I don't want them to be caught on these metal bits. That side is done. Let's do this one. Again, go through, place that. As I said, you can choose to do the same thing here, but without the masking tape on this side. But I just prefer to use these. And this, unfortunately, is not going to work through the fabric, so I have to use this one. Crocodile punch hole through the fabric. You can also use one of those uh, other tools. That you place thing and make a hole with a hammer like those cutting knives but let's get these i think these are five are they five or six millimeters not sure i got them ages ago and i'm just using this Eyelids. I've had it for years and I like how easy it is to use this one. Oh wow, it's almost there, almost done. So you can use some of these or just a wax thread and this is how I measure. I open it up. And I need two of those. Okay, fold it and go through, make a loop, and then. And you can attach beads and charms on these ends. is done i love it so as i said you can make a sharp crease here or you can grab something that's approximately the thickness that you want to achieve i'm going to grab this stamping platform and show sure you the You can also put um, something like something round. Just like it. Fold it over that. 
and there it is envelope cover <laughs> i love these journals <laughs> now all you need to do is grab some nice papers choose the papers for them and basically bind the signatures here you can have like i'd probably just do one signature for these like I think that would look good to have one signature for these but you can certainly have maybe two or three but without too many papers and I think they're just cute I hope that wasn't too hard you can also put something inside like this and then put something heavy overnight and it will stay flat like that one because I've done this one yesterday I hope you find this tutorial informative and I hope it wasn't too hard to do this piece of fabric, some decorative papers and two envelopes and you have yourself a journal cover. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.